Guys, it's Sam from Source Line Slow, and uh, awesome week we've had, and we're looking forward to a great weekend. If you're in Australia, well, it's uh, public holiday tomorrow, so we're having a bit of a lie-in and enjoying what's called Echo Holidays. That's a show day just near us. Uh, come and have a look down here. We're just doing uh, a boneless chicken. So it's a whole chicken. You've got your breast piece, your two thighs, and your legs are part of the breast. So all we've done is we've skewered it. It just gives us some movement on the grill. This is gonna go over our charcoal grill. Uh, and this enables us to just really flip it really quickly uh, and makes it a little easier. Um, it also prevents it from sticking as well. We can spread it out and uh, helps you handle a chicken without any bones in it. So all we're literally gonna do is a little bit of olive oil, which we'll get now. Super, super quick. We're just gonna get some olive oil on the skin. Don't want too much. So we'll cut that dry. And then what we're gonna do is just gonna use our weekend blend. Now this is a coffee based blend, uh, but remember the coffee will mellow as it cooks and it's about applying a small amount of blend. So let's apply our gentleman's blend. Remember when we're using a blend, it acts as a seasoning. So just like with salt, not too heavy and you can always apply more at the end. So all we're gonna do is just a light sprinkle. And if you can see there, we've literally just done a light coating. But that's all you need as these are freshly ground and they are quite intense. But you can back off or put more on depending on what you like. But if you can see, it's just a light sprinkle. And remember, if you're not a coffee fan, please do not be put off by the blends. The coffee is just there to create those nice earthy chocolate notes which will come through as you cook. And, and the coffee does that when it heats up. Um, so we'll just turn these over like so. And we're just gonna get some rub on there. Now remember you can use this as a seasoning after as well. Dry rub isn't just to be used during the cooking process, but you can definitely use it when you're finished cooking to sprinkle some more on. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna let that set up for about 10 to 20 minutes. And that just goes from a dry rub to a wet rub, adheres to the meat and it's not gonna come off when you cook. So always let it rest uh, just on the counter, covered up uh, for about 20 minutes. We're gonna put it on the charcoal in a second and we'll show you what we do. Catch up soon.